<laughs> I've started hating talking about my age and this has nothing to do with YouTube, although on my YouTube channel, I've never explicitly told you guys my age. All you need to know is that graduated from university in 2018, so I am in my early 20s. But today's video is actually completely about my career, my full-time job, my professional life. Let me take a step back here and provide some context. So as part of my job, I have to attend a lot of events and conferences and, you know, in the... VC startup kind of world there's a lot of people that I look up to and they're like my role models but there's also a lot of people that have been in the industry for a lot longer than I have which is fine so basically whenever I have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone new they'll always at some point try to gauge how old I am because you can visibly tell that there's a massive age difference here no one ever asks someone that is like middle-aged how old they are but for some reason, it's okay to ask a younger person how old they are just because they're younger. So fine, whatever. If I feel comfortable enough to tell them my age, they'll start making assumptions about how I'm not very capable, the things that I say are not valid. And then I have to go through this long process of justifying everything I say, giving full explanation, but that's all fine. The most frustrating part is actually, whether it's a colleague or someone new that you just met, they always say certain things, um, and I have a massive laundry list of items that I've heard from people, and these things that they say are extremely patronizing, whether or not they mean it. And so for, in their mind, like just because you're in your early 20s or even mid 20s, they just think that you know all we do is kind of like go partying on the weekend can get hung over on a Saturday, you know, recover on a Sunday and then come back to work super tired on a Monday. But not all of us like to do that. When this kind of conversation where everyone's just patronizing you kind of happens time after time, event after event, I for the past year started doing two things. One, I just started avoiding talking about my age. I just hate talking about it. So whenever someone asks me, I just very obviously changed the subject. I've even done the thing where I pretend I ha I, I'm getting a phone call and I'm like, oh wait, I'm getting a phone call. I pretend to reject the call just to put it away and be like, oh, what were you saying? Oh yeah, we were talking about blah, blah, blah. And then that's how I changed the topic. Um, or two, I just found myself um, in a situation where I'm constantly acting like I'm older than my age. Don't get me wrong. I think I'm generally a very mature person, but when it comes to talking about things that I like to do, things I like to eat, places I like to go, what I'm doing on the weekend, I've started just straight up lying about it. Like I, for the longest time, I didn't like wine, but you know, adults like wine. So I started looking into wine courses. Now I kind of do like it, but like, you get the point. Like that's what people like to do. So I force myself to learn it. And I get it, you know, you gotta play the game. If you wanna bond with someone, you wanna make that connection, you gotta, you gotta, you know, have some type of common interest. That's fine, but it's gotten to the point where like I start feeling fake. So for anyone that is in the same boat, trust me, I know it sucks, but you know, today's video is not just going to be me kind of raging and, and moping around about this. I have been thinking, you know, having deep thoughts in the shower and I boiled it down to three main ways to deal with this, okay? Number one, you deserve to be in that room and I cannot stress this enough. You got invited to that meeting room or you're sitting at that table or you went to that event for a reason and you were given that job for a reason, so you should own it and also whenever you start feeling or thinking like you're inferior, you'll start acting like it and you'll start carrying yourself that way and that's the last thing you want to do because if you need to fake it till you make it you got to realize that you can't control the way people talk to you or the way they think about you the best thing you can do is to control the way you react to it and that leads me to my second point if people decide to underestimate you just let them do it the best thing or the best way to get revenge i suppose is for you to just work hard, give it your 110%, and when the time comes where the results are being shown, you will just blow everyone's mind and they'll be like, oh my gosh, and you'll prove them all wrong and that's the best way you can do it. And honestly, I've had someone straight up tell me, like constantly remind me, they're like, oh, I've managed global teams before, you know, like basically emphasizing that you're a fresh grad, when a time came down to it, 
that person was asking me for help more than anything because they knew that I was capable. And I think on the inside, I was like, heck yeah. But anyway, point number three is realize that if someone decides to patronize you or just honestly straight up be an ass to you, you don't need to waste your time trying to impress them, trying to gain their respect or, or trying to justify why you're there. You know, you can better spend your time elsewhere and on other people who will mean more to you and will actually respect you regardless of your age. I actually came across this one quote the other day. Um, let, me, let me pull it up. It says, every time I find myself a little uncomfortable, I know I'm in the right place. And I think it's so important to remember this because you know what, it, it is uncomfortable being in an environment where you're younger than everyone else and maybe you are more inexperienced than everyone else, but it's a good problem to have. When I first accepted my current job, I felt like a small fish in a big pond, but I, whenever I felt sad, I remind myself that I'd rather be a small fish in a big pond than a big fish in a small pond because I'm putting myself in an, you know, out of my comfort zone and I'm forcing myself to learn and to grow. And if I am able to surround myself with all these successful people, it must mean that I am successful to a certain degree to even be able to sit at the same table as them. And so give yourself, you know, a little pat in the back for getting to where you are, but also realizing that, you know, we obviously still have a long way to go. So don't let other people's words get to you and don't uh, like 100% don't let it stop you from getting to, you know, the next stage of your career. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Honestly, it wasn't easy for me to open up about such a personal and somewhat sensitive topic, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. And for those who can relate, uh, would love to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.